When you speak of NBA dynasties and franchises, it's hard not to say the San Antonio Spurs are in the conversation. And now, we're starting off our My Team series where we use the all-time lineups with some of the greatest Spurs to ever play the game. Pretty much all of them. And yeah, today we're going to get it started, man. We've got all of the big, you know, the big names you'd expect that have won the titles. And we've also got a couple other guys like Dennis Rodman who played for a couple years, really played well for his uh, two years in San Antonio. But yeah, let's get into the first game. We're 1-1 one one in the fourth seed, so we can, we can use a win, you know. We just lost the game, so it's always good to get a couple wins in a row, start to build some steam, build some momentum. But that's not what we were doing early on. Down 5 nothing, and Ginobili cannot hit the jumper. We do get the offensive rebound. We're going to kick it out to Tony Parker. We're going to try and work the ball around, get a jump shot, but nothing works. We miss the jump shot, and because of that, Paul George gets a nice dunk on the other end. 7 nothing early on. Things are not going well for us. Right here, we're trying to run some plays, trying to get Ginobili open. As we get him the jumper right there, man, he knocks it down. It's 9-4, to four, so slowly... We're trying to build on some points, trying to get guys' shots down. That's going to be one tough thing right here. And I don't know what Dennis Rodman is thinking. He decides to try and double Kawhi Leonard, and that puts us in a tough situation. But he gets back in there, plays some great defense, and look at the pass inside to Gerving with the and one, the Iceman. Oh, that was a really nice pass. I don't know how that went through their legs or through their feet. It's probably a glitch, but still, I'll take it. A good way to end what was a bad quarter. We ended with uh, 14 points, and we're only down two, so not too bad. This guy was killing threes in the first half, and he's still hitting threes. He's hitting him with guys in the face, and I was not loving it, man. I was frustrated. I can tell you that. As he hits that one right down there, it puts us now down five. We're trying to just stop this powerful combo of Kyrie Irving and Steph Curry, but we can't. They're still knocking down threes. Eventually, I would change into a zone... I'm going to play a 1-3-1 one, one and just cover that corner. But right now, it's Ginobili with another three. <laughs> Ginobili was hitting down shots all game. You're going to see, man, this guy catches fire. I I've never really used him that much in my team just because how slow he is. As Avery Johnson gets dropped and we get alley-ooped on. But you'll see he's actually not as bad as I used to think he was. And uh, current gen, I always bashed on Manu just because of how slow he was. And I really couldn't use him, but... His shot, it's kind of slow, but, I mean, he's not the worst. He actually can hit shots if you put the right signature skills on him. But right here, it doesn't matter because we're just getting beat. We're turning the ball over. We're not hitting jump shots. We're we're getting really bad shots, and, and you're not going to make those. <laughs> so right here, we're down 10, but we're playing some good defense. We're forcing him into bad shots. He does not know what to do with this 1-3-1. One one. He's still trying to hug up threes, and Ginobili with another nice cutting layup right there. Excellent pass from David Robinson, the Admiral, running the floor. Not something you'd expect to see, but that's my team for you. You come to see the unexpected. You see things that you would never see in real life because, obviously, you can't rewind time and put these guys together, even though that would be so freaking awesome. Right here, Tim Duncan gets the board. We get a nice fast break opportunity, and Tony with the pass through his legs, I think. It looked pretty nice inside of David Robinson. Cuts it to six, but we need to stop going into half. We got to keep this momentum. He gets it into Ibaka. Nothing's there. I jump early and Evan Turner at the buzzer. No good. Air ball, baby. That's what I like to see. 37 to 31. We're down six. We just have to get some open looks. We get it to Manu. Not the greatest shot, but he's still knocking them down. He's two for four on three so far. That's pretty much all I've been utilizing him for. I mean, hey, when he's knocking them down, you might as well keep shooting them. So we feed him the ball the very next play and bang. Manu again hits another three. That's back to back, and he is still not done. But we're going to right now get the subs in, get Vinny Del Negro a nice little jump shot right here for an offensive rebound, and we're only down two. Slowly climbing back into this game. Just got to play some defense, which we're doing. The 1-3-1 one one is pressuring him to take some bad shots. He's still forcing up threes and giving us the transition points with the young stud Kawhi Leonard who Cam Newton's the chest open right there after tying the ball game. But they're going to hit back-to-back threes, and we're already down six. So Tony Parker at the buzzer. We need this. Yes, Tony, baby. Those are his only points in the game so far, and they're a huge bucket right there as we go into the fourth quarter with now just a four-point deficit. 
but we've got to get shots. We've got to get open looks just like this with Manu on the outside who knocks it down for the third time in this half going for three for three with nine points. Perfect so far in the second half, man. He's playing out of this world. I can't expect anything more than that. But unfortunately for his team, he cannot hit shots. He's frustrated. He's forcing up threes still. We, we're doing what we need to do, but we got to keep scoring. Right here, you see we've got a one-point lead, and we got what looks like a transition bucket, but no. Paul George with excellent defense. They hook him up on the other end. He gets the dunk. We could not stop him. That was a big shift of momentum. That slam right there with Gerving could have been a nice message for him. We could have said, hey, this is our game. We've got this. Instead, now, all we're doing is turning the ball over and giving him alley-oops on the other end. Now he's building off his lead. It's now up to five, and it just does not look good for my team. We've got to get some points, though. We get a mismatch. Robinson throws it down in the paint. The Admiral finally getting involved. We got to get the ball to him. I don't know why we really haven't, but still, it's time to play some defense. Paul George, we can't keep letting him get to the rim, and this time, he still does it effortlessly. It, it, this Admiral Paul George is a monster. These are, this is one of those guys that if you can go try and get him, you need to. He is too good, deadly player, very easy to get to. Right here, though, let's work it inside, and it does not matter. He's getting strips. The, the, the story of this game, it was turnovers. I mean, we keep turning the ball over. He keeps stripping us, nothing we can do. I, I, I wish they uh, adjusted the steals a little bit, but sadly, we're down seven. It doesn't look like we have much of a shot with uh, a minute and a half left. I mean, we're still going to fight because that's what we do. The Spurs as an organization like to do that. And Manu says, don't put down the controller yet. We're still hanging in there. That's four for four. Manu's still perfect, but we need some shots. Only 50 seconds left. We're down four. Even if he scores here, it's still a two-shot game. We play great defense, but we can't rebound the ball. And it doesn't really matter. That gives them two points off the free throw line. We got to come down and score quickly with only 40 seconds left. I'm going to try and get a three with Manu, but his release is too slow. He gets blocked. We try it again, and oh my god, he gets blocked for a second time. And yeah, that is pretty much the ball game, man. It, it's frustrating that his, his release is a little slow. And besides him, really all I had was Kawhi, and uh, I had another bronze guy at the bench who could shoot, but... Really did not have too many three-point shooters on this team. And that's going to hurt you, especially when you need three-point shots in the end. Uh, even though he's making mistakes right here with 11 seconds left, still, we, we would have to get two threes off. And right now, we can't even get one with Manu. We can't even get it off. He's getting blocked every time. I try to do a nice little out loop here. Does not work. Release is all off. I tried just getting a shot up. And that is the ball game right there with four seconds left. We do elect to foul and keep it going, but... It's pretty much a lost cause at this point. Kawhi Leonard misses the shot at the buzzer. And sadly, we lose, man. That, that's a tough one. We played pretty well, but again, we turned the ball over 12 times. Not good enough. That that will lose you a game right there. 12 turnovers, and he scored 17 points off them. Whereas he only scored, uh, I think I only scored, what? Three points off his four turnovers? Not good enough. Definitely not. But check this out. Look at Tony Parker. He like, why I only scored two points? Why did I not do more, Shake and Bake? You got to get me the ball more, and I, I do. I got to play this again. I got to stop shooting threes with Ginobili, but even though we were, uh, before missing the last three, I mean, we were what, like five of eight? That's pretty good, so, or five of seven, actually. So, yeah, we got to work the ball inside more. We got to do more. I'll probably use this lineup again, but I hope you guys did enjoy, and let me know what teams you want to see down below. I've got a whole list of players and teams I'm going to be using. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and until next time, peace. Thanks again for watching. Do be sure to click the next episode of my team on the screen right now. If it's already uploaded, it'll be there. If not, I'll have my last video. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more videos daily, bringing content to you guys on the basis. And of course, check out my Twitch. I'm always live streaming. So yeah, peace.